Okay, hi guys. <laughs> this is a good one. Another question from Cindy Fitzgerald. She says, Hi Naya, what is a pigeon? I'm trying to figure it out, but don't really get it. Are they aliens? Thank you again. Uh, and then there was some talk down below. Alright. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Alright. I don't think... I think she may have gone back to my videos. But I'm going to go ahead and put this up because it's been a long time. And people that are new need to understand what this is. You will hear me talk about the pigeons and the geckos. In the dualistic game, in the fourth dimension, well, they're in the third dimension too, but right now we're in the fourth dimension, so let's talk about that. There are two major groups, just like everything is divided in the dualistic setup, light and dark, what you say is good and bad, even though that depends upon who you are, still there is good and bad, and uh, usually people don't believe that there's any waffle room in that. <laughs> Especially humans. They do not. There's like good and there's bad. There's light and there's dark. There's this and there's that. And they're very, very separate. Okay, well, in the dualistic game, I have broken it down. And really, Stephanie and I came up with the pigeons. We just call the pigeons what you would call uh, light beings. On this side are... Um, this is where Jehovah is. This is where, actually, actually, that's the questioning about which side Jehovah's on and which side. That Jehovah's really more gecko, but that's probably going to freak out everybody. And and uh, Satan, or Lucifer is more, not Lucifer, uh, Satan is more um, pigeon. But really, really, oh man, Jehovah, that's kind of, depends upon the timeline. Ugh. That's hard to explain. Anyway, almost all the angels in Jehovah are all pigeons. And the way pigeons operate is they operate more with um, getting people by belief systems. Or they will get you over on their side by saying, okay, I can... I can take away all your pain. I can heal everything you've got if you come and you come and give all your energy if you come and worship me. Or they'll say their societies will say, Well, we've got all of this that we you can live in our society, you'll have no worries, you can do whatever you want. It's totally blissful here. But and they they have the cities that are very white and clean and austere and very um, what you would call contemporary. They're very, they're, there is greenery there and trees, but they're very organized. And you can have everything that they say is true, but you have to follow their rules. All of your energy goes to them. And in return, they, like, take care of you. They'll make sure that you have everything that you need and you are totally blissful. And you will think that you are loved. And it's certainly much higher than you've ever felt before, but you still got to follow their rules. You very definitely have to follow their rules. If you don't follow their rules, they will kick you out. And they're very, they keep their vibration of their, their galaxies, their planets, their civilizations very, very tightly controlled. Okay? The other side are, and the pigeons are sneaky, very sneaky. Uh, the geckos, on the other hand, they're set up that they're very blatant. They will face you off and they will say, I am a bad guy and I'm going to rule you. I am going to, I'm going to win. And if you go head to head, which they want you to go head to head with them, and you win, then you go up in status in the gecko world. A lot of um, corporations are built um, with geckos. Uh, the geckos will... A lot of governments are run by geckos uh, here. Um, there's a lot of gecko, which are the bad reptilians. The reptilian, the bad reptilians are the ones that are like um, helping nations, certain nations, especially very successful ones, and uh, big corporations that are really not very good, very nice, but they're very rich. 
because geckos do not care who gets hurt. It is it is uh, whoever's best rules. They, they'll do whatever they want. They their their um, their planets are very dark. Um, people work really hard. They have a lot of slaves. Uh, they do not treat them well. If you're stupid enough, if you cannot tell the difference between them and a pigeon, because they can both. They know what humans believe. They know what they're looking for. So they both can show up in front of you looking like a, the most beautiful angelic being in the world, covering you with, with what you think is love, vibrationally. They both can do that. Absolutely. They can become whatever they want. And the 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 trick here is that as a human, because you don't have any experience with aliens of any kind, then you are easily fooled. In my estimation, both of them, I, I they're not bad. It's just for what I'm doing, they're not they do, they're not a match. But certainly the geckos, you could over lifetimes eventually. Um, you could learn to, uh, you could fly in a spaceship and run around and shoot people and stuff with laser beams and stuff. The pigeons, although they do have spaceships and they do fight, they usually are just defending their borders. And they slowly itch out and take over um, galaxies, solar systems and galaxies. It's very slow. It's very, like, they're, they almost are looking like, oh, well, we did do that. Um, or that planet one asked us to come, so we came. Um, so, and that's how there's a lot of battles, like the whole Star Wars battle between the Empire, you know, and, uh, man, that just went flying out of my head. Anyway, the two sides, that's based on a true, true battle. That was a big one. It was a bad one, too. So, it destroyed a whole bunch of planets. That one did. But anyway, that kind of represents the battle between the, the pigeons and the geckos. And the reason why I use the terms pigeons and geckos is because I don't want to use the terms that everybody else uses. I'm not going to use terms like angels or aliens or... Um, because aliens? Really? What, what does that exactly mean? I don't understand that. According to true aliens, humans are alien to this planet. I mean, they were created and brought on all the genetics. Most of them, most of the genetics were added to this planet. So, uh, by what they call aliens. So, we're more alien than we are, you know, indigenous to this planet. So, it, the whole thing falls apart. I don't like it. Makes no sense. So, I made up my own names. And so, neither one of them are better than the other. They just are playing the 4D game differently, that's all. And just like here, people don't understand. They say, okay, there's good guys and there are bad guys. Well, no, there's not. And if you could understand, or if you could remember that you could telepathically interact with people, then you would know that. There isn't a country that goes to war that doesn't believe that their side is right. That their side is the good guys, the other side is the bad guys. So, just because you're on this side and you're American does not make you any more right than the other side. They still believe that they're right and that, that America's wrong, well, whoever we go to war with. And that's true with all countries that are warring. They absolutely believe that they're right. They believe in it so strongly that people are willing to die for it. That's a pretty strong belief system. And I'm not going to get into it again about good and bad. They're... The whole good and bad thing, it just changes so much. And if y'all can't see that, well, um, then you just don't want to. And I'm not going to argue it with you. But the truth of the matter is that there are beings that came to have the experience of being what you consider a bad guy or a bad woman. And that is the experience that they want. Now, in order for people to come and play this dualistic game, in order for people to come and play the good guys... No matter if that's a, a doctor saving lives or a superhero or vigilante coming to whatever or, or a policeman or whatever that's playing the good guy role or you're just a really good mother or you're really good at um, taking in um, 
homeless people and giving them a home and a job. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever you want to say a good guy is. In order for you to be a good guy, there's got to be something to contrast that that is considered bad. Otherwise, they would you wouldn't be able to play the role of good. There has to be something that you can compare it with and say, okay, that's bad over there. I'm this kind of good. Yay, I'm playing the role of a good guy. And then when you die, you, you say, okay, I played the role of a good guy. But it's like a play or a video game. There are video game players all over the world. Maybe this will relate that you go on a video game and, and there are many, many um, gamers that play the role of the bad guy. Many of them. That doesn't make them a bad guy. It just means that they're playing the role in the game of being the bad guy, of fighting the good guy. That's all. And then another gamer comes in and they play the good guy. And the two of them fight and somebody dies and they walk away and they laugh. Okay, that's what this is. This is an extremely good video game or play that you're going to walk away from. And in the fourth dimension, because it's a dualistic thing and I don't see good or bad, I just see contrast in two sides, I have broken them down into the pigeons, which are what you would consider more the good guys, ouch, and geckos that you would consider more the bad guy. I don't see them either one good or bad. Uh, I know they do, but I guarantee you when the geckos are fighting the pigeons, they consider them th themselves the good guys. They think that their way of doing things is much better for the all that is in 4D. Pigeons do the same exact thing. Well, that same thing happens down here on Earth. Everything from a mother arguing with the child about what the child did that was wrong, and the child will, like, listen because the mother is bigger, and she can hit harder, but the child pro most of the time thinks that the parent is wrong. It's, it's just everywhere. So good and bad is very waffly, but the contrast of what you believe and individual people believe is right or wrong is how you play the game. Now, everything else that's on this planet that's not human is consciousness, beings, intelligences that have agreed to play the role of your background so that all the humans can play this game. So, all, all of everything else that's out here, and all the consciousness involved in running things so that you can have the most realistic, contrasting experience ever. For those of you who didn't come to help Gaia the Starseeds, even if you did, that's what every consciousness out here is here for you to have this experience, this game. So, all the people that say, oh, life is wonderful, and you should be grateful for every single day and it's it's lovely here yeah i agree with you but i don't do it like you do it i do it because i'm aware of all the consciousnesses that are setting the stage for this game and i'm very grateful to all of them and amazed that they that they do it for um other consciousnesses to have this game especially when um what we consider bad things can happen to them and frequently do uh, with the plants and animals. The plants and animals are frequently, <laughs> um, well, everything is attacked by humans in this game. But that's the way the game is set up. Everybody knew that before they came. Okay, so hopefully that answers the questions of who the pigeons and the geckos are. And, uh, yeah, that's about as much as I like to break down the fourth dimension because I don't want to get caught in it either. It's a huge, 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 huge game. All right, well, that's it. Uh, please subscribe and like the video. And yeah, that's it. Love you guys much. Huge hugs and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.